Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us on this episode. The story of two young Kenyan inventors, David Gathu and Moses Kinyua, who have created a biorobotic prosthetic arm operated by brain signals. The Cameroonian researcher and inventor of an atypical insecticide developed from plants to fight malaria. And later on the show, a chat with Crescent's Elodie Nonga, founder of WeTech, whose work is helping to encourage women and girls to pursue ICT careers in Cameroon. I am Jerry Fusaya Bambi, and this is Inspire Africa. Two Kenyan inventors have created a biorobotic prosthetic arm. This is not a new invention, but there is something interesting about this. It is operated by brain signals. Let us take a look. It is not a scene from a sci-fi movie. This shiny robotic arm was created by two Kenyan inventors. The prosthetic arm is operated by brain signals. This biorobotic hand uh, uses those brain signals and converts those brain signals, uh, uh, amplifies them, filters them, then converts them into electronic current, and this electronic current is further uh, pushed forward to the uh, circuit of the robot, meaning it can convert user's thought into robotic arm movement. The inventors dropped out of college after completing from four because they could no longer afford school fees. But despite the ordeal, they are determined to help persons living with disabilities. The reason why we designed this bio robotic hand is because we wanted to help those people who, ha who have lost uh, the use of their limbs, the disabled people. Our aim is to give them something that will help them or will, will aid them to go into their daily activities in order not to be a dependent pe uh, person, to move from a dependent person to an independent person. The prosthetic arm is made from recycled wood and other materials. Despite its potential, lack of funds is hampering mass production. Such invention of prosthetic arms and, and such level of technology uh, will go in a big way, not just improving our economy in terms of production, uh, but, but, but also Make it more acceptable to society. It's not bulky. I think it's not bulky. It's, it's, it's easier for the persons with the ability to handle them. It, it, it's, quite, it's quite a game changer. In Kenya, more than a million people live with disabilities. Most of them have lost limbs through accidents or to polio. Now, UNESCO and the L'Oreal Foundation listed Cameroonian biological science researcher Agnès Antoinette Untumba in 2020 among the 20 young women scientists in Africa. Untumba invented an insecticide from plants to fight malaria using nanotechnology. After documenting cases of resistance to chemical insecticides, Antoinette Ntumba explored other lines of research to study whether organic ones would be more effective. Her work culminated in the discovery of a bio-insecticide. The product is environmentally friendly and less costly. The innovation elevated her to the international scene. Last year, Ntumba was among 11 scholars selected for the UNESCO Regional Program for Women in Science in Sub-Saharan Africa. We decided to use plants adding nanoparticles because we know that nanoparticles, as the name implies, is a very small structure and has very important properties. And when we add this to the secondary metabolism found in plants, the efficiency can only be boosted. Ntumba is a doctoral student at the University of Douala majoring in biology and physiology of animal organisms. Her work is a game changer in many ways. It seeks to win her country of dependence on unhealth chemical products, while also being a key weapon in the fight against malaria, which is endemic in Cameroon. We are interested in the project of Madame 
Tumba. We got interested in Madame Tumba's project, which helps to bring change and add a fundamental and fantastic contribution in the usage of bio-insecticides, also known as bio-nano-insecticides. Cameroon's National Malaria Control Program has been at the forefront of the fight. Officials say that Ntumba's innovations and knowledge can be applied in the fight against a disease that kills thousands every year. When they're cleaning up the towns or villages, the councils can actually apply the substances and, and kill the mosquitoes at a very early age. Statistics from the Malaria Control Program indicate that between 2011 and 2018, malaria prevalence in Cameroon reduced from 30% to 24%. And we stay in Cameroon, but this time to meet with social and digital entrepreneur, Crescens Elodi Nonga. Crescens, good to have you with us. Thanks, Jerry. Thank you for having me. So, uh, Crescens, you founded Women in Entrepreneurship and Technology, WeTech. Could you tell us more about this? So, WeTech is an association supporting uh, women by uh, providing them uh, digital skills training um, in coding, in web design, in digital marketing, cyber security, and so on. We are also giving them mentorships and uh, access to resources and opportunities as well. Interesting, uh, Crescens. Now, you've trained so far, from what I have seen, more than 400 women in this. Uh, they include women from urban and rural areas. In particular, during the COVID-19 lockdown, you developed a chat booth which provided information on gender-based violence. What was the inspiration behind this? Okay, so during the lockdown, we really wanted to have the community as well and to make sure that the population is protected and, uh, and that um, everybody is safe uh, during that, that period. And we had that. Um, there was also a kind of rage in terms of uh, domestic violence and the, in women were the first victims. So we wanted also to make something and to offer a solution. So that's how we built the Sandra COVID and for chatbot for, um, to make sure that um, Cameroonian internet user can check their symptoms online. Uh, and also we build uh, the alert GBD to make sure that women can report anytime if they are victim of violence and have them found uh, contact and assistance online. What has been the outcome? We had um, like 400 users in two months. So we were, for us it was just for fun that we did it. We just wanted to do something, you know, just to contribute. But we were really surprised by the result and how uh, people were really interested in, in our chatbot. And we even had offer um, from developer how they can, they could in integrate our chatbot to their own solution, online solution. So it was interesting. And concerning the alleged uh, we partner, we had a partnership with um, an association in the, the Northwest region of Cameroon, which is in a region in crisis. And uh, um, it was interesting to have them and, you know, use the chatbot for women in that area, in this particular area. Fantastic. And that leads me to my last question, which is, how would you assess the progress in Cameroon for women and girls taking up ICT careers? So I think we are in good progress in Cameroon. We, are, we have more women uh, getting interested in technology and particularly in the digital field. I think that one of the first step is really trying to demystify the technology to them, make the technology and the digital more accessible to women as well. And um, we are really working on women representation in the tech field. And um, we have, for example, at WeTech, we have tech founders, men, who are coming to us and saying that, hey, I have this startup, I have this tech startup, and I want it to be managed by a woman. And I'm searching for a woman as co-founder. And I think that it's really interesting to use those kinds of ways to have more women in tech, more, more women interested, and more, more women trained as well and see that they can have career in tech. 
And I bet you are a role <laughs> model in this area for many in Cameroon and across Africa. Christian, so I'd like to leave it at that. Thank you very much and my very best wishes. Thank you very much. Thank you once again for inviting me. <laughs> Crescens Elodie Nonga, Cameroonian social and digital entrepreneur there. And with that, we've come to the end of this episode of Inspire Africa. You can see it again by going on africannews.com and euronews.com. Just before we go, here are some of the images that caught our attention on social media. I'll see you next time. Bye. A beautiful sighting from Guinea taken by Art OK Africa. Here we find the women of Moheli in the beautiful island nation of Comoros. And these sheep herders in Lesotho know much about their sheep, but also know how to slay for the ground.